If you have a frozen shoulder where any kind of movement of your shoulder is difficult, are there ways and exercises you can do to get that motion back? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, here with my friend and physical therapist from Made to Move Physical Therapy, Eve Gigi, and he's going to talk to us about some exercises you can do. I don't know if you have a frozen shoulder, but it's really difficult. It hurts, obviously, but every motion is limited, side to side, up overhead rotation, and we got to do some things to kind of get through that. That's going to take a long time just waiting on your own. So Eve's going to show us some things that might speed that motion recovery process a little bit faster. Yeah, absolutely. With frozen shoulders, the most important thing that we give to our patients is easy ways to start getting range of motion back. Because as you said, it's painful, it's tight, and it usually feels a lot better just to do a little bit of stretching. So we're gonna go over my three favorite stretches to do, okay? The first one is for shoulder internal rotation, and this one is great. So we're actually gonna turn around, okay? okay? And we're gonna pretend that his right shoulder is the shoulder that's frozen or painful or tight. And he's actually gonna wrap it around and pull it behind him. Okay. So he's got so pretty good motion here. Sometimes some shoulders. Yeah, so some shoulders. Maybe back, like yeah here, more so right here. Exactly. Here, yeah. yeah. So what we'll do is if you can get it there, we're actually going to use the good shoulder and grab it and try to gently pull it higher up okay. our back. And you can just gently hold that anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. The key with this one is lots of repetitions. Believe it or not, we tell our patients to do it once an hour if they can. And the great part, it's easy to do. Yeah. So if they're like struggling, if they're struggling to get to their hip, any change in how they do it, you still just reach around. Reach around. We had some people like you can get a belt from home or a rope and kind of hold it with one okay. hand and pull it over. Oh, that right. Makes sense. Yeah. The big thing is to make this thing comfortable because you will feel a little bit of you know tightness, maybe a little bit of pain, but we definitely want to keep it at a very low level. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. What, what should we try next? Okay. So the next one we just did internal rotation. Now we're going to go with external rotation of okay. the shoulder. Okay. So we're going to come over here to the rig and. You can pretend that this is a doorway in your home that works just as well. So we're actually going to come up and go into this position here. Okay. Okay. So his elbow's pretty high. If you're having any difficulty, you actually can drop the elbow as low as you want. Okay. And I would take maybe two steps back. Okay. Okay. So you would start kind of far away from the doorway and maybe take one or two steps in again to you feel a little bit of stretch maybe in the front or possibly in the back of the shoulder so at first they're really stiff they may struggle to get out to here so they may step back a fair ways exactly yep kind of yep yep you definitely want to ease into these start really really low level and then start your work, work your way up over weeks you know sometimes months you know frozen shoulder can take a while Okay. Yeah, that, it absolutely can. Yeah. Okay, good. So our last one, and usually the most popular one, is lifting overhead. That's the <laughs> one we're doing. And I did this one on purpose last because I like those first two to get some rotation back, and then we'll start working on overhead okay. stuff. So we're going to use the same doorway, and we're going to start w working overhead position. So we can start as if it's really tight, almost an arm's length away okay. from your doorway. And then from there, we'll just start sliding our arm up very gently until again we feel a little bit of stretch in the shoulder and we'll hold that anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. I want to keep this super comfortable. I cannot emphasize that enough. You don't want to overstretch. Um, you want it to keep it to a low pain level. Okay. Yep. Good. And so after they do these three exercises, um, and you know, they, and you do it longer than we just demonstrated it. Mm -hmm. How do you have them finish it? Do you have them ice it? Do you have them, um, or do they just leave it alone and come back, like you say, the next hour? Yeah, I mean, uh, I encourage people. A lot of these hurt. Yeah, you know, no, absolutely. Not hurt, but they're. They're not easy. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, there, there's two options. If you're really sore, yeah, maybe a little bit of ice, you know, maybe a little bit of like rolling or massage might be a good idea. But if you're feeling good, believe it or not, I'd encourage them to go use it, okay. you know? So I right. like, go in there and like, if it's not crazy painful, like go use it and start like, you know, working a little bit. So like your body starts to remember that new motion that you got. Oh, terrific. Well, this is terrific. And it, as he it, uh, emphasized, I said too, frozen shoulder is a tough problem. We're not denying that that it's painful and it's not quick it's going to be a slow process 
but a little bit every day, several times a day. And once you sort of break it up a little bit, you'll start seeing momentum a lot yep. faster. So try these out if you're not making a lot of pro uh, progress. Go formally work with a physical therapist like Eve, and they can really kind of get you moving quickly. If this video is helpful, click the link below. Check Eve out on social media for all kinds of great health and rehab information, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.